Hi everyone, I've got a mini haul for you today um, but I wanted to do a haul because I've got some new Zoeva brushes and I really want to haul them so I can start using them because I'm so excited to use them. So I'll make a start there. I've got a Zoeva um, 221 which is the Lux Soft Crease and they come in these gorgeous zippy bags and then they come individually wrapped and this was about seven pounds from love makeup i believe oh it's so soft oh i just can't wait to use that and um, that's what it looks like do excuse the chipped manicure i actually did them this morning could you would you believe and the other one i got was a pencil brush and that's the zoeva 230 lux pencil again same lovely little bag which is fantastic for brushes and travel not that i travel a lot but some people might and um it's nice and soft now every pencil brush i've ever tried before has just been too scratchy and too you know just too stiff and that's just feels perfect i can't wait to to use that and um, they just look really nice as well they just I just I nearly bought a Mac one but I thought I'll give Zoeva a go first before I give in and pay Max prices. What I did went I did go on Love Makeup for was the Z palette. <clears throat> now I wanted a Z palette because I've ordered some makeup geek eyeshadows which haven't come yet. And the cheapest I could see this Z palette on eBay was $15.50, I believe. So I contacted my good friend and YouTuber Kat Horrocks. I'll link her in the description. In the description bar her channel's awesome she's awesome hi cat and <laughs> um, i asked her where you know she got gets her z palettes and she recommended love makeup so i went straight on you do get little um little um things to attach to the back of the pans and she said they're very sturdy and you feel as though they're not going anywhere so <clears throat> i got this because um, I watched a Mrs. Ginger's Beauty Channel video about Makeup Geek Shadows. I'll link her as well. I'm, I'll try and find that specific video. And she was saying how you can definitely avoid shipping costs in the UK if you spend less than $25. And that would be two eyeshadows and a pigment, she said. So I didn't really want a pigment, so I added three eyeshadows. And with postage, it was less than $25. And hopefully I won't incur any customs charges but I don't know yet because they're not here and um, so I thought if that's the case I can buy three rows of three and fit nine in here and that's three orders and um, so my objective is to get nine and that's what I got my Z palette for and I got a lovely zebra print I also just wanted to show you my three flower girl dresses and my last haul I showed two of them and um, but I needed one more and they didn't have the size in that dress so unfortunately those had to go back and I had to get a different style so I have all three of the dresses now and I'm just going to show them to you so they're a bit more sparkly than the last ones um, I got age four age five and age 24 months now the one in age 24 months because it's a lot smaller comes with little pantaloons so i'll just show them to you they're so cute they're like that so little sort of silk shorts and they've got sequins and flowers all over them the belt detail has got uh, three lines of satin and the back is a lovely um bow and they're the cinderella style again and they're really um, affordable if you're interested in these dresses. The 24 months dress cost uh, £15. The age 4 dress cost £17. And the age 5 dress cost £19. So I got all three of my flower girl dresses for £52. So I'm absolutely chuffed about that. And I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, so um, on to the next thing. I also want to show you this Christmas bag that I got from Home Bargains. Um, it's absolutely massive and last year we found that some of the Christmas presents, the wrappers were getting damaged in transit and so I really love this because it's keeping them nice and safe. I'm just going to move so you can see it. It's, um, there it is. It's made of really sturdy material. Um, I think it was 250 and um, so I got that and, um, oh. Let's sit down and I also got a few bits from Asda. So from Asda I got um, just some me time cotton buds. These were only a pound for 800 and um, so they'll be great for helping you put on false lashes and cleaning up makeup. 
um, and I also got a Christmas present for my fiance. I got him Honey Jack Daniels, which he absolutely loves. Um, and I got some Freddo Frog chocolate frogs for Scarlett. She was like, frogs, frogs. So I was like, okay, I'll get them. And we've also had a, quite a new addition to the family. I think I might have mentioned her before, baby Bella. Um, she's just a few weeks old now. And I saw these Jungle Buddy box from Asda. So I got, that's her Christmas present. I got those. I think they're so cute. You get a monkey and a lion and an elephant. And um, I think that's everything from Asda. I nipped into HMV um, because I wanted to get some Disney DVDs for Scarlet for Christmas. Um, so as her Christmas present, I bought her The Little Mermaid, Aladdin, Cinderella, and Sleeping Beauty. Sometimes when she's watching TV, she'll say to me, Princess or Princess, as she pronounces it. And actually, she doesn't have any Princess DVDs. She only has sort of like um, Monsters Inc. and Nemo and stuff like that. So I got her the um, classic Disney Princess ones. And then for 2 99 they also offered me The Polar Express with Tom Hanks. And that's a really Christmassy film that's supposed to be brilliant and I haven't seen it yet, so I got that. These are all 12 99 but they were buy one, get one free, so really you know £6.50 each which is a bargain. While I was out shopping at the Metro Centre in Gateshead I also noticed a beanies store or stand, I'm not sure if you've heard of beanies but they're uh, the coffee flavour company and um, I believe you can buy these online as well if you don't live near there um, and they're absolutely amazing I and mean, I've tried flavour coffees before but these actually taste as good as they smell oh and they smell unreal um, this one is cinnamon and hazelnut. I bought these for myself so I've tried them and I really like them. The only one I haven't tried is the Christmas pudding um, because I'm saving that for December for obvious reasons. I also got gingerbread which um, I do like um, but I prefer the cinnamon and hazelnut one. And then I got winter warmer which is just as nice as the cinnamon and hazelnut one. And then there's mulled spice, which I'm a little bit on the fence about. I would definitely recommend cinnamon and hazelnut and the winter warmer. But I think mulled spice is an acquired taste. And I think the gingerbread as well is an acquired taste. So it was five jars for £10. And I got a free um, bag of the ground coffee. So I picked Irish cream. So I've tried that and that is also lush. I popped into the works in uh, the Metro Centre and I got a 2015 diary for um, my fiance. Oh god, just gonna take the price off because although he doesn't watch my videos so he won't see this before Christmas and it won't get spoiled at the same time you might watch it after Christmas and it's rude isn't it to tell someone how much their gifts cost. So I'll get that label off properly later but it's a 2015 diary and it's got like a globe on it. I just think that's quite sophisticated. It'd be something that he wouldn't mind getting out at work if needs be and, I, and he's quite into that sort of thing so I think he'd quite like that. Obviously that's why I got it from because I thought he'd like I it. I also popped into Primark to get a few Christmas presents for Jason and also some uh, essentials for Scarlett. We were taking her to a soft play area and her jeans were too tight bless her. She can't wear jeans, her legs are just too chunky. So I went to quickly grab her some jeggings which are like jeans but they're stretchy like leggings. I'm sure everybody knows that. So I got her a pair of those, they were £4. And then I got her a packet of two leggings because you'll know if you pop, if you are potty training a child or have ever potty trained a child that you can get all you need all the leggings you can get. So I got a pair of a pack of uh, two leggings, black and grey, and they were four pounds as well. Um, I also at Primark got um, two packets of chocolate coins. Um, I actually first got one for Scarlett and Jason saw them and was like, ooh, are they for me? And I was like, no, but I thought if you want some, you can have some. So I wouldn't want one of them to be left out, so I got one each for them. I got myself another pack of hairbands and I've already opened them because I bought them because I needed a hairband on the spot. But these colours are lovely. Look how autumnal they are. I've got some leopard print, some um, uh, little glittery ones, and then you've got some sort of strange sort of jaggedy edge ones that are really funky I just saw them for a pound and thought yes I must have those and so I got those and then um, I also picked up some wrapping paper for the Christmas presents I really like this one it's purple and silver 
and I just think it will look really nice in the living room before they're taken away by Santa to be delivered. Um, I also picked up, as I say, Jason's few Christmas bits for his stockings, a Christmas stocking. I got um, cotton rich jersey boxes for him and last thing I got was a hoodie for him which is like a grey colour um, and I think he'd really like it. There it is. It's got little holes, uh, little pockets for holes for hands or pockets as they're more frequently known and um, this was £12 and I got it in a large because he doesn't like it to be too short so um, yeah uh, I can't wait to wrap that up and give that to him so that's everything for today I hope you enjoyed the haul um, as I say I've already got the makeup geek shadows and some other bits lined up to show you in the next haul so I'll see you in the next one bye